what is a tuning basically when we assign a particular note to a particular string that is called tuning now what do i mean by assigning for example this first string let's say when i play this i want to hear the note e okay in western music we'll talk about western notes first then we'll go to indian notes also so i want to hear the note e when i'm playing the first string so what i will do i will move this tuning peg or knob whatever you can call it and tighten it or loosen it to make it sound like an e okay you all have a tuning app or some kind of tuning pedal or clip on tuners so there it will show e because it's a particular pitch a particular frequency so that's basically called tuning now how different types of tuning are named so for example open e major tuning is mostly used in hawaiian guitar you all know that tuning so when we tune we see in our tuning app or any tuning machine that we use it shows the western notes not the indian notes so there is a confusion for example in open e major tuning the first string is e second string is b third string is g sharp fourth string is e fifth is b and sixth is e now first we have to understand why are we tuning like this and from where the tuning came like why are we tuning exactly like this okay there are several reasons first one is that when you play all the strings they sound in harmony they don't sound bad that's the first reason the second one is how efficiently you can play for example if i want to play a melody then if i have to change the strings several times then the flow of the melody will not be there for example if i have to go from first string then to th fourth string or third string multiple times then it will be very difficult and also it will not sound that good so for ease of playing we tune to a particular tuning that's another point third one is to play chords which is not that much important in indian song playing but still if you want to play chords it's better if you tune to a particular tuning that way it does not become difficult because you have only one bar in a normal guitar you have multiple fingers to hold a chord what is a chord when you play multiple notes together for example this is also a chord a tuning is a chord that you have to know that a tuning first of all is a chord so to play the chords it's easier when you tune to a particular tuning depending on the song now from where the tuning came for example this e major tuning i already told you that a tuning is a chord actually so if you want to make a chord or create a chord you have to follow a theory there are several types of chords major chord minor chord dominant seven suspended augmented so for this example we are talking about major chord because this is an open e major tuning okay so if you want to make a e major chord you have to take three notes from e major scale previously i explained how a scale is made now from that scale you have to take three notes the first note from the scale for this example for e major chord it will be e the first note will be e from the e major scale it will be e then you have to take the third note which is g sharp and the last note you have to take is the fifth note from the scale which is b so e g sharp and b we take these three notes from e major scale and that will make a e major chord okay so now these are three notes but we have six strings so what we have to do we have to repeat some of these notes so this is a normal electric guitar so we replicate the hand position or the finger positions to these strings if you want to play the e major chord on a normal guitar we have to hold the guitar like this there, there are so many ways to play the same chord but the main position is this to play a e major chord on a normal guitar or a spanish guitar so now we'll take the notes and assign them to these strings okay so for e major chord the first string is e so our first string will be e second string is b here 
so the second string will be B also here. Now the third string will be G sharp. So we are tuning this to a G sharp. Fourth string will be E. So our fourth string will be E. Fifth will be B. Fifth will be B here also. Sixth will be E. Here it will also be E. So we have to follow the finger position here. Follow which note we are playing on which string. If you want to make a A major tuning for example. So this is an A major chord on a normal guitar. So our first string is E. Second string is C sharp. Third string is A. 4th is E, 5th is A and then 6th is E. So you have to follow that for A major tuning. So we follow the chords and that way we make a tuning. Okay. Now how it connects to Indian notes. So we assume that we have to play songs in E major scale. That's why we are tuning in open E major tuning. Okay. So as I mentioned earlier in E major scale, if you want to play Saregama Padhani, our style will be E. So that's why when we are tuned in open E major, E will be our sub. So our first string is an E, our fourth string is an E and our sixth string is an E. So we make our first string our sa, fourth string our sa and sixth our sa. So three sa's. Then we have to think of the western scale. So our second string is a B. Now in western scale, the B is the fifth note. Okay, E, F sharp, G sharp. A and B, the fifth note. And in Indian Sargam, it is Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, Pa. The fifth note is Pa. So the B will be our Pa. Then the third string is G sharp. So G sharp is the third note in E major scale. So E, F sharp, G sharp. And in Indian Sargam, it is Sa, Re, Ga. So Ga is the third note. So G sharp will be our Ga. And that's how you connect western tuning to indian notes now for example if i am tuned in a major okay there are two different types of a major tuning but what i use is like the first string is e second string is c sharp third string is a fourth string is e fifth string is a sixth string is e again so when i am tuning in a major it is supposed to that i will play the song in a major scale okay so now if i want to play Sargam in A major scale, my Sa will be A as I explained earlier. When you are playing a Sargam in a particular scale, the scale name is your Sa. So in A major scale, if I have to play Saregama Padhani, A will be my Sa. Okay. So if A is my Sa, then my third string will be Sa this time. Fifth string is also an A. So fifth string will be also my Sa. There is an octave difference, but that's not important now. So now my first string is tuned in E, but my size a okay so if i see the a major scale if you know the formula that i mentioned earlier how to make a major scale you will see that a b then c sharp d e so e is the fifth note and in indian sargam it is sa re ga ma pa pa is the fifth note so our e will be our pa so a is sa e is pa then there is also c sharp so in A major scale, A, B, C sharp. So C sharp is the third note. And in Indian music, Sa, Re, Ga. Ga is the third note. So C sharp will be our Ga. The first string is Pa. Second string is Ga. Third string is Sa. Fourth string is Pa. Fifth string is Sa. And sixth is Pa again. Now if the first string is Pa, if I go further, Pa, then we leave one note, then go to the next one, or one fret, then go to the next fret. That will be Dha. Then leave one note, go to the next one, Ni. And after Ni, there is no gap, so Sa. So this is our Sa in A major tuning. Now, for example, I am tuned in E major tuning. This is my Sa Regama Padani. Now, someone says to me that play Sa Regama Padani in A major scale. Okay. But I don't want to change the tuning okay and I just have to play the first string and I don't have to play the other strings so now what I will do because I know this is E in E major tuning the first string is E so this is E then F F sharp G G sharp and this fifth fret is A so I have to play Saregama Badhani Sa in A major scale so I will start my Sa from here and then Without changing the other strings, I can play the Sargam in A major scale. So, okay. 
नाउ समन सेज टू मी दैट प्ले इन जी मेजर स्किल सेम सारे गाँव पता नहीं सर वॉट आर यू डू ई एफ एफ शर्ट जी सो दैट वी बी माई सा देन ओके सो जेनरली फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इफ यू आर प्लेइंग इंडियन सॉन्ग्स यू डोंट हैव टू चेंज द ट्यूनिंग जेनरली नाउ इफ आई एम डूइंग दिस आई एम ऑल्सो डूइंग दिस वेन आई एम प्लेइंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू दैट देन यू हैव टू चेंज द ट्यूनिंग अदरवाइज यू कैन प्ले इन डिफरेंट स्केल्स without changing the tuning so if you are in e major tuning or any tuning for example a major e ma- even minor tunings e minor tuning you don't have to change the tuning if you are playing only one string at a time but you have to remember the notes where your notes are if i am playing sa re ga ma in e major scale then this is my sa but when i am playing sa re ga ma in a major scale sa is this and this is my pa This is no longer sa like it was in E major scale. It has changed. So you have to remember the notes where the notes are. You have to know the name of the notes in each tuning. So if I am tuning E major, I know the notes. This is E, this is B, and that's how I am thinking. Like okay, so that if this is my sa, then it will be my pa. And when I'm playing in A without changing the tuning, I know that this is my pa and this is a B. So that is my re now without changing the tuning if i am not changing the tuning and staying in e major in e major second string is b and in a major scale our second note is b which will be a re okay so you have to keep that in mind so you don't generally have to change the tuning if you are playing only one string at a time but you cannot do that i see so many people playing in a different scale without changing the tuning and doing this and that sounds so bad if i play a uh, you know a minor scale without changing the tuning you see how bad it sounds so it will not match so or even if i play uh, for example a g major scale without changing the tuning and do that it will not match if you want to do that then you have to change the tuning depending on the scale you have to choose the tuning but if you don't do that and if you can remember the notes then without changing the tuning you can also play 